Okay, so welcome to Quick Calculus. And in this video, kukuha na naman tayo isang mga example. So we have here limit as x approaches positive infinity and 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 all over 6x squared plus x plus 5. So try natin evaluate yung limit muna. No? So let's plug in infinity. So this is 2 times infinity squared plus 5 times infinity plus 1 all over 6 times infinity squared plus infinity plus 5. So this is, the numerator is infinity. The denominator is also infinity. So now we have the form infinity over infinity. Okay? So remember in our previous videos, now we can e evaluate this limit actually. Diba? So we can divide everything by 1 over x squared. Diba? So actually, we can do is to divide everything by 1 over x squared. So, ang mangyayari dito is 2x squared over x squared plus 5x over x squared plus 1 over x squared all over 6x squared over x squared plus x over x squared plus 5 over x squared. Okay? And, itong mga terms na to, so this will become 5 over x, ito 1 over x squared na lang, ito Nagiging 1 over x. Tama? Then, ito, magka-cancel. Okay? So, we will be left with 2 plus 5 over x plus 1 over x squared all over 6 plus 1 over x plus 5 over x squared. And, kapag tinik natin yung limit as x approaches infinity, sabi natin na ang limit as x approaches infinity ng c over x to the n, remember, is equal to 0. Okay? So, meaning... This is 0, this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0. So we will just be left with 2 over 6 or 1 over 3. Okay? So this is a relatively tedious method of doing this. Tama? We divided everything, the numerator and the denominator, by 1 over x squared. Pero we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. Okay? So if we apply the L'Hopital's rule, so applying... L'Hopital's rule. So we have limit as x approaches infinity now. 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 all over 6x squared plus x plus 5. So sabi natin, we will just take the, the derivative ng numerator and denominator. Tama? So this will become limit as x approaches infinity. So anong derivative ng numerator natin? This is 4x plus 5 over derivative ng denominator natin is 12x plus 1. Okay? Then, try to evaluate the limit again. Okay? So, limit as x approaches infinity na ito, this will become 4 times infinity plus 5 all over 12 times infinity plus 1. So, this is equal to infinity over infinity. So, we can apply the L'Hopital's rule again. Okay? So, applying L'Hopital's rule again. So, apply L'Hopital's rule again. So, anong derivative ng numerator natin? This is just 4. Over derivative ng denominator natin is just 12. So, this is just equal to 4 over 12 or just 1 over 3. Okay? And may kita nyo na, yung sagot natin, 1 over 3, is the same as Nakuha natin sagot kanina when we divided the numerator and denominator by 1 over x squared para makuha yung limit. Okay, so makikita natin dito na very useful yung L'Hopital rule kasi hindi na natin kailangan na gawin tong tedious method na ito. Diba? We can just take the derivative ng numerator at ng denominator natin and eventually get yung same na limit. Okay, so ito yung example natin for infinity over infinity and see you in the next videos.